Hey guys, um, this video is uh, if you're going to travel to um, Peru, uh, Lima, Peru, um, in particular. Um, there's uh, three airlines that I would recommend: uh, Lan, um, Lan, Copa, and Avianca. Um, L A N uh, C O P A and A B I A N C A. Um, I'd rather you guys just go to the dot com of those websites instead of going to like Expedia or whatever. Um, those websites, uh, they um, they have better deals. Okay, so you know, there's places obviously that you, that everybody who goes to Peru wants to visit. That's uh. A Machu Picchu, um, Puno, and uh, you know beaches like uh, uh, Mancora and Punta Sal. Uh, these places are really good to like go check out. Um, yeah, so there's a couple. Well, once you get to Lima, once you land at their air, at the airport. Um, you you really only should take the cabs um, from the airport, like in any uh, South American country, and especially in Central American countries. But in South American countries, you should definitely take um, the cabs from the uh, from the airport. It's just safer. You you know you're carrying all expensive stuff. Um, they know that you're a tourist and they know you're American or European or whatever. Um, so you just take those cabs. Um, if you're staying in Lima, I recommend these hotels. Um, I recommend the Marriott um, in Miraflores. Um, I recommend uh, the Radisson in Mira Miraflores. Um, and um, I recommend um, the Hilton in Miraflores. Um, so yeah, um, Mira Flores is M I R A F uh, Flores uh, F L O R E S. Um, so these um, these these places, uh, this city is basically like Malibu, California. You know, it's like a really expensive city. It's really nice. Um, it's clean. It's safe, um, and uh, you'll love it. You, everything is walking distance. You can walk there and you're safe. You know, you can stay in Mita Flores or you can stay in San Isidro. San Isidro, San Isidro is also, it's like, um, it's uh, very touristy and it has like gyms, Gold's Gym. Same with Mita Flores. Mita Flores has like Gold's Gyms and it has, um, you know, um, it's pretty Americanized. It has, you know, all the Starbucks, McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, all the, all the fast food junk places that you can go to but they also have like all vegan um all vegan all natural all organic um there'll be like people selling like fruits on the streets and the fruits are all organic and they're like huge <laughs> and they're delicious um so yeah you can you can go there if you're looking for like an expensive restaurant to eat around there um, you can go to across the street from the Marriott. There's a place. There's a shopping center over overlooking the ocean because the Marriott is on the coast. Like all of Lima's on the coast, but the Marriott's overlooking the ocean. And this, uh, the shopping center. It's a huge shopping center overlooking the ocean. And the, there's like a, like expensive restaurants in there that you should try out. Um, one of them is called. Uh, Man, it was one of my favorite restaurants when I went there. Uh, I forgot what it's called. But all the restaurants are good in that shopping center. And of course they have fast food uh, places in that shopping center, but they have really good restaurants. And if, you, uh, and if you're looking at this video, you've probably done your research about Lima and, and Peru and that they're known for their food. Uh, so, that re so there's restaurants there that are pretty good um, to eat at and you should try them. Um, yeah, you can even ask around, ask one of the people there that work there. They all speak English, uh, so you should be fine. Um, and then there's one that's on the coastline 
but not at uh not not at not there but it's on the coastline and it's in the same city um and it's called gala c-a-l-a -A, and it's that place is really good it's bomb and you're literally you're, you're literally eating like on the ocean it's got like a balcony over the ocean um yeah it's like kind of like uh it's kind of like i forget the name of the restaurant there's this restaurant in malibu that i was thinking about but it's better than that because the food's better the service is better and you're over the ocean instead of like on in front of a public beach so yeah um yeah and if you're looking for uh, a good time there like um a night out um to party club uh have a great time in uh, there's this there's a street it's like uh, it's like a street and it's called uh calle de la pizza <laughs> yeah basically the translation in english is street of the pizzas and there's tons of restaurants and there's tons of clubs and there's tons of people uh the thing there's uh you got to be careful uh there's a lot of like really um there's a lot of women there who are um uh working working women let's say and they may try to like pick up on you if they see that like you're alone uh without like you know your wife or without your girlfriend if you're like a young guy or just a, an american guy or european guy they're walking in that street the you'll see like some you know attractive women all uh all of a sudden start talking to you and it's because uh yeah they're working and uh and yeah so that 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 place is called uh calle de la pizzas um and it's in it's in mir flores a little bit further down but um but it's there and there's a lot of like um there's also a lot of uh um markets markets there um yeah so you should be uh you should be fine staying in Mira Flora, especially if you're going to Cusco. Um, you can stay there for a day or two, check out Lima. There's tons of things to see. There's even ruins in Lima. You can look up um, on your travel app, um, TripAdvisor, and download uh, the Lima thing, and you can see um, there's ruins. There's all sorts of stuff. There's there's a there's even a restaurant in one of the ruins, and that place is like the best. You know, the president goes and eats there. Um, I believe uh, Donald Trump went to eat there when he he recently went there. Um, Obama went to eat there, and um, also, by the way, Obama stayed at the uh, at the Marriott. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's it. that's how safe that place is. Um, okay, so so yeah, so the best time that you want to go in to Peru is in April. Uh, April, May, March um, because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's like the perfect weather. It's perfect temperature. So if you know if you're, if I'm from California. So if you guys are used to the weather here in California, then you'll love Lima and you'll also love like that time of the year. April, May, March. April, March, May. Um, there's uh, there's uh, transportation. Um, you can take taxis everywhere it's crazy but um there's a there's a phone number um that you can call it's uh three uh five 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 so three and then six fives and um the take this is basically like in there this is basically like uber but for your phone and they also have uh uber and lyft um in 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 peru so you can just go ahead and use your app on your phone and uh, that works, that, that's safe too. So you'll be fine using that in, in Peru. Um, also, uh, I know this video is getting kind of long, but um, really quickly, there's a lot of bars in the city called Barranco, B-A-R-R-A-N-C-O. Um, that place is, um, like Mita Flores, is really safe. Um, it's like That place is kind of like Beverly Hills. Um, that place is really good. It's really bomb. Um, it's like, and it's 10 minutes from me to Florida, so it's pretty close. Um, and there's, okay, so in Mita Flores, um, there's like cheap little cafes, um, that are delicious. Um, they're not like, 
uh, they're like really nice and really clean and um, one of them is called uh, Manolos um, uh, M-A-N-O-L-O-S and that place is really good um, there's also um, Brazilian bars there and um, all sorts of stuff uh, so yeah um, if you have any questions I've been to Peru several times um, I have family out there so um, I have been out there a lot um, and uh, and yeah, if you guys have any real questions, you guys can comment on this video and I will get back to you because I, I, I pretty much talk to everybody who who comments on my videos. Um, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my stuff. And, um, and yeah, so uh, if you guys have any questions about anything about, about Peru or Lima, um, you, can, you can just write me a comment and I'll, I'll get back to you. Uh, all right, guys, this video is getting to be kind of long, so I'm about to cut it off right now. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Have safe travels, and see ya. Oh, and like, comment, subscribe, and share to everyone, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Late Later.